touchdown was set up by a heads up play by veteran receiver Ryan Thelwell. See the completion here to Jermaine Copeland coming underneath. He takes a big pop. Keith Williams strips that ball. Thelwell fights past his man, Jonte Buell, basically throws him out of the way to get to that football, keep the Stamps drive alive, and sets up that touchdown for Joffrey Reynolds. Go, 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 go. 21-14 now. Tristan Jackson twists his way to the 39-yard line. And so this will be interesting to see how Ricky Ray and the Eskimos handle this bit of adversity now that the Stampeders are breathing down their necks. Yeah, this has been a game that's seen a, seen a couple of shifts back and forth between moment, between the teams in mo terms of momentum. Edmonton Eskimos have answered the bell every time they've been challenged so far. This is just the latest challenge for them. Let's see how they respond. Good numbers for Ricky Ray so far here tonight. Early third quarter. Seen lots of offense, some spectacular playmaking. On the ground and in the air here tonight. Home opener at Commonwealth Stadium. Ray unloads again, another deep ball. What a play at the last minute. Brandon Smith takes a reception away from Jason Tucker. But just man-to-man -man coverage here. The halfback Brandon Smith on the slot back, Jason Tucker. Calgary Stampeders know from their film and history over the years, Jason Tucker loves to run that corner route. Brandon Smith gets on it, gets underneath. A little slip and fall at the end, but he still managed to get that hand up just enough to get the fingertips on that football. Yeah, that might have been one or two fingers that took that away. Sure-handed Jason Tucker would have had another big play here tonight. Second down and 10 now. From the Eskimo 39, over the middle this time for Campbell. Another first down. Well, the good news for the Calgary Stampeders is that at least this time when Kelly Campbell touched the ball, it didn't go for six. First time tonight, of course, his first two were, were majors. The bad news is they've still got to find a way to figure this guy out. Kelly Campbell lines up out wide. Good run at the ball so he can use that speed, learning to use that motion well. Again, beats his defender, this time Brandon Smith, to the inside. Got to protect the inside. Get hands on Kelly Campbell. Ricky Ray calls his own number and takes a big hit there. Dwayne Carpenter put his head down and got Ricky Ray. Ray really on that play looked like he was thinking run the whole way. Just saw Dwayne Carpenter as Ricky Ray rolled out there, knowing he's not the most elusive quarterback in the league when he gets in the open field. Carpenter had time to coil up and strike on that one. Second down and four now. Oh, man, what a hit there. Mike Lubinjo stuffs the Eskimos and will stop the drive in their tracks. Well, Mike Labinjo has been such a find for the Calgary Stampeders, a guy who they drafted way back in 2003, spent a couple years in the NFL before finally arriving in Calgary last year. Couldn't find his way into the regular defense last season, but this year has made the most of his opportunity, taking most of his snaps at defensive end, but also filled in at middle linebacker last week after Salim Rashid went down. Versatile defender is really making an impact here. Prefontaine tries to angle one. And it goes into the end zone for the single point. Ten minutes to go, third quarter. Burris back to work when we come back. The backbone of any truck is its frame. That's why the Nissan Titan's frame is fully boxed. Unlike competitor Z-frames that are prone to flexing, our boxed frame is the strongest...